Did you know that you have a whole team of dragons around you that are just waiting to be told what to do? In today's video, we're going to be talking about frequency or value dragons, a special offshoot of dragons that I'm super excited to talk about. But first, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Hannah and I help people to own their powers and step into the driver's seat of their own lives. And today we're going to do that by learning a little bit more about these frequency slash value dragons so that you can just imbue your life with so much love, so much healing, so much empowerment that that just kind of oozes out of you and affects everyone that comes into contact with you and you just become like this beacon of awesome. How does that sound? So really the only other main time I've brought up these value dragons or frequency dragons is when I did my video on the different types of dragons, which you can find up here. Um, this is my first video actually delving a little bit more deeply into these topics. And really like the names, take it with a grain of salt. This is something that I just like intuitively came up with myself. It may not be the most eloquent of names. You could just simply call these dragons spiritual dragons. You could call them just frequency dragons or you could call them value dragons or something else entirely. These are just the names that came to me. Um, that they would like to be used to represent them, allegedly. I prefer value, even though it's kind of funny. It's like, would you like a, like a value fries with that, right? It's like, would you like some value dragons with that? Um, it's kind of a funny name. But the reason I, I thought of that is because these dragons, they hold different values, um, very intangible concepts, and they hold these frequencies. They vibrate at the same frequencies as, say, love, as freedom, courage, and stuff like that. All of those intangible things are just vibrating at a frequency. These dragons also vibrate at these frequencies and can therefore like spread these frequencies to places that may not have them and may be in need of them. As such, frequency dragons is another name that works for them, but I like value just because it's a little bit shorter, to be honest. Saves me a little bit of breath. So what exactly are these value or frequency dragons? Well, they're dragons. And as I said, they do carry specific frequencies. They vibrate at specific frequencies. Something that may give you like a tangible picture of this is if you Google maybe the, the chart of consciousness, so like a map of consciousness, there's like this, this map of like the different frequencies of consciousness how many uh, hertz I believe they vibrate at with um, enlightenment being at the very top, I believe. And then below that is love and like fear, shame, guilt, that stuff's like towards the bottom. So these dragons, these frequency dragons, they're going to be like at the middle to the higher end. Generally, they're very high vibrational beings. All dragons, in my opinion, are high vibrational beings, which means everything is made up as energy. And that energy vibrates, right? Higher energy beings are going to be vibrating really, really fast. So you can't see them. Um, and that's how dragons just operate in our 3D realm these days, which is why they've kind of gone into the land of the mythical, right? But these healing frequency dragons, these value dragons, they really, they hold the same frequency. They vibrate at these higher frequencies and they hold them. As opposed to, say, elemental dragons or galactic dragons, that'll kind of shift their frequency depending on the situation. They're kind of more chameleons about it. These healing frequency dragons tend to just hold the same frequency. As such, they're kind of just meant to be in service. Their whole purpose in life is to serve, um, to serve humanity and to serve other beings, or really. And they're quite similar to the dragon topic I talked about last time, the healing frequency pools, which I'll link that video above if you're curious to check that out. It works quite well in tandem with these uh, value dragons. But yeah, just like these pools hold a certain vibration and you can go bathe in these pools to imbue yourself with that vibration. Similarly, you can also just call upon, invite in these frequency dragons, these value dragons, and they will start to kind of sync up your vibration, sort of calibrate your vibration so that you're able to step into the same vibration as them. So this being said, they're, they're made to serve. And as such, I find they're quite similar to angels. I myself don't super resonate with angel energy. I rarely work with angel energy outside of my personal guardian angel. Um, but generally, 
angels, from what I understand, they're kind of like programs in the matrix that are meant to like serve us. They just, they don't really have much of a personality and stuff. They just kind of do their job and they're done. Even the archangels, which have a little bit more of a personality, at the end of the day, they're just pure service. That is the same kind of energy that these value or frequency dragons have. You may find that they have less of a personality than other types of dragons and they just want to serve. They don't really, they're just like kind of blank slates that just want to serve, just want to hold this frequency that they're giving off and spread that frequency. That being said, they're made to serve, but as such, as they are like kind of programs in the matrix, they need direction. They need guidance. So that's what I was referring to at the beginning of the video, how you have all these dragons around you, but they kind of just need you to tell them what to do. You got to kind of give these dragons direction. You can actually have fun with this. You can order them around. You can guide them, tell them what to do and not feel bad about that because that's what they're made for. Otherwise, it's just like useless. They're, like they're not really living their purpose. They're just kind of wasting away like waiting for someone to tell them where to go what to do so feel free to have so much fun with this and just like give them ideas and stuff of places to go um people to help places where they can raise the frequency i will reference for those of you interested i believe diana cooper has a book she also has a tarot deck and she talks about dragons she's one of the few other people out there right now that have talked about dragons and the types of dragons that she kind of goes into, especially in her book, which I believe is called um, Dragons, Your Celestial Guardians. Yes, that's the book. I have it. So the dragons she refers to, I believe these are value or frequency dragons. I know some people have criticized her work because they're like, oh yeah, these dragons you talk about, you're just telling them what to do. You're ordering them around. Like they don't have any personality and stuff. And this is why it's like, they're still dragons. They're just like an offshoot of dragons. These are dragons that are made for service. So if you want to learn more about that, I highly recommend that book. It's very interesting stuff. Um, another thing that's kind of interesting is she talks in those books about how like deities and ascended masters and stuff have their own specific dragons under their command that you could call upon for certain tasks. So super fun stuff. I can definitely talk about that more. If you would like, just let me know in the comments as usual. So the part I'm sure you're, you're dying <laughs> to get to is how exactly do you work with these value dragons, right? This is, this is really cool stuff, but like, how do you make it work for you? For this, I'm going to um, bring an analogy to mind. I am a gamer about it. I love me some video games. And one of the games from my childhood that was super enjoyable, Pikmin. Any, any Pikmin fans out there, let me know in the comments. So basically in Pikmin, you play as like this like alien that ends up on an alien planet. And then he's got these like little like dudes, <laughs> these little dudes with like flowers on their heads and stuff. These cute little aliens, they're like yellow, blue, and red and stuff. He starts to grow these, these Pikmin. They're kind of like vegetables or something. They follow him around and he starts to realize that they take orders. And otherwise, when they, they're not taking orders, they're just kind of standing around doing nothing. They don't have anything to do. So he starts building up like an army of these Pikmin. And you can like have the Pikmin like go pick up like parts of his ship that got like knocked off or pick up like fruits in one of the games and you can have them fight enemies and stuff and you just tell like you can separate them and the, the different types and tell them what to do the value dragons are exactly like pikmin <laughs> so if you are unfamiliar with the concept of pikmin i encourage you to just google that real quick watch a little video of that someone playing the game and you'll see what i mean but value dragons are like pikmin you just tell them what to do they will do it so as such how to work with them I honestly find it easiest to work with them by being in service to others. I usually do not work with the value dragons for myself um, because they, they kind of carry this frequency of service. I like to use them to help others. So here's an example, very, very recent. Actually, last night, I was in the ER with my mom <laughs> and I, I had to take my mom to the ER. So I was really like stressed out about it initially because I'm really empathic. I'm really energy sensitive in hospitals and stuff like that. Ugh, it's, it's the worst for someone like me. I'm sure many of you out there can relate. 
and you can just pick up everything. I feel everyone's pain and it is not a pleasant experience. So I was really like stressed about having to take my mom there. The issue she was dealing with, not very serious. <laughs> For those of you wondering, she's okay. The issue didn't end up being a problem, but um, I was worried about going and putting myself in that situation. But I thought of two things. One, I was like, as an empath slash energy sensitive person, this is an, a great opportunity. One could even say, dragon trial, which I'll link that video up here. <laughs> um, it's a dragon trial. It's a way to prove myself and show how far I've come as an empath that I could go to an ER and not pick up anyone's energy. So I like did all this stuff I've learned about in my like empath training. I'm like calling upon my guides for protection, like saging myself and visualizations and stuff like that. I did it all before going to that ER. And sure enough, when I got to the ER, uh, no problems whatsoever. I didn't pick up anyone's stuff. We were there for like three hours, completely clear. It was very empowering. <laughs> but anyways, I'm getting off on a tangent. The second point is the one that relates to the value dragons. So the second thing that came up is I was like, probably there's a reason why this happened and why I'm being drawn to this ER. I feel like maybe the people at the ER could use me. Um, so sure enough, I get to the ER and I'm like in the back area with my mom and she's in the hospital bed. And I just see nearby like all these people that are in so much pain. And I was like, yep, that's why I could feel it. The dragons coming through right then. They're like, okay, time to work with the value dragons. Send your value dragons to these people. So I did. I took a few minutes to just kind of tell these value dragons, like certain value dragons to go to certain people, just following my intuition on which ones should go where and to which people, which people needed, which dragons, all that fun stuff. Um, and I mean, I don't know if it actually helped, but I feel like it did, of course. And this is something that I've, I've done for a few years now. I lived in Sydney, Australia. There's a lot of homeless people there, especially the neighborhood that I was living in. And I would be like walking down the streets, seeing all these homeless fe people feeling bad because generally I don't like to give money to homeless people for reasons. Um, that's another rabbit hole. But uh, generally, that's not a thing I do. But I still feel bad. And I was like, oh, I wish there's some way I'd be able to help them. Value dragons is the way that I learned to help them. I started to just prowl the streets of Sydney. And I would just send value dragons left and right to people like unconditional love dragons, abundance dragons, safety dragons, dragons for protection, dragons for self empowerment. Um, just to people that were like curled up, huddled up on the street and just needed it. So basically, yeah, like Pikmin, you can just tell your dragon, your value dragons where to go and they'll do it. And this also works even if you're not physically in a place and seeing people like in need, if you just know of someone, like you know of a big thing. So for example, right now the war in Ukraine, you feel like there's a lot going on in Ukraine, you can send some value dragons over there. I would in fact encourage that. They need a lot of love over there right now. Um, if you got friends or family members that are like away from you struggling with something or you suspect they're struggling, you can send them value dragons. And it's just this beautiful way of like healing the planet and lifting the frequency of the planet. Definitely an ascension hack, that is for sure. Before I go too far down that rabbit hole, so how do you work with the, the value dragons for yourself? Um, there are, I mean, two main methods. There are many ways to play around with this, of course, but two main methods that are coming to mind. One is, as usual, just meditation. You can just sit, you meditate, and you can ask some value dragons to come in and support you. Now, it's very important to get specific on your intention. Um, the value dragons are going to be more able and likely to support you if you're trying to reach for a frequency that you just can't reach otherwise. So let's say you're just really poor and you just can't seem to keep money no matter what you do. And that's always been your reality. Like you come from a poor family. That's all you've ever known. You can call on the abundance dragons to kind of let you feel that frequency of abundance and experience that and start to kind of dip your toe in the water of abundance and feel what that's like so you can manifest more and more of it into your life. They'll help you kind of get the ball rolling with that. And then the other one, this is a super fun one. You can make the dragon healing frequency pools in real life. Recently did this video on the dragon healing frequency pools. They're similar to the value dragons, right? Well, you can make a dragon healing frequency pool in the human realm, in the 3D physical world. 
Um, if you want to like just if you have like a bath and you want to take a salt bath, you can just lay in that. Or if you go floating in a sensory deprivation tank, you just go to a swimming pool at a gym. Even you go to the ocean anywhere really where there's water, you can go into one of these pools and then just kind of like soak in the water. You can swim, you can float, you can just sit there, whatever. And then ask the um, healing frequency dragons, the value dragons to come into the water invite them into the water and allow um, yourself to like soak up through your pores that frequency and they will imbue you and they will imbue that water with that frequency. So super, super cool stuff. I'm very excited to hear about people's results with this. Um, let me know in the comments, have you worked with the value dragons? And if so, what are your experiences? If you have not and you would like to and you're still like, I don't even know where to start, my uh, Dragon Realm meditation that is totally free on YouTube is a great place to start. I'm gonna link that up here. But anyways, friends, as usual, me and the dragons would love you forever. If you could like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post on my super erratic schedule. And until next time, stay powerful.